Morning all and welcome to Clive's Modelling Channel. Now, I'm right out of my league on this one. I don't normally do floaty things, especially ones that sink and then rise up again. But this is the U-boat. Uh, I'm making it U82, which is in the kit decals. It's uh, the 7C type U-boat uh, from Revel. I've had it since March 09, bought it for 25 quid. Um, it basically got as far as being glued together and then it just got kicked around, neglected really. Um, so I've had to make a, a few bits, <coughs> um, scratch build. Um, I've got the Eddyard uh, photo etch set for it as well, um, which now I've put pretty much most of it on. There is a bit of guesswork with some of it because obviously uh, I don't know where it all goes, but uh, anyway, without further ado, this is just like a bit of a heads up on the old um, weathering front. So uh, we'll come in a bit closer and uh, let's have a look at her. Right, so sorry about the noise in the background. That's just my, um, I'm actually down in the kitchen today because the, the LED lights down here are brighter than what I've got in my room. So, <coughs> This is the um, the front end angle, I'm getting a pulling stick. Here we go, right. So these bits here, these are photo etch, these latch points. This is where the saw blade's gotta come up uh, for cutting wires or whatever else it runs into. And then you've got the, the bar that comes down to the other latch point here. And that's, that's all photo etch, along with the tie, tie down points here and there. There is one missing. Um, I have got a spare, so I'll be bugging that on at a later point. Uh, I don't know what the heck that thing is, and I don't know what the heck that thing is, but uh, that's the kit part. That isn't, I've had to make that because the kit part broke off and got lost. <clears throat> now, what I did was I painted the boat first, and I used um, a, a Tamiya, uh, now what was it? This was Tamiya Dark Sea Grey, uh, the, the, the bottom down here. This was Dark Sea Grey. Uh, this was one of the new uh, LP range, I think it was LP36, which was Dark Ghost Grey. That was the lighter colour. And then the dark, dark colour was a Mr. Colour. I'm trying to remember what it is off the top of my head, but anyway, it was Gunship Grey. So that's that one now. And then basically what I did then was I used a mixture of NATO brown and Tamiya brown to basically um, paint uh, the rust patches in, right? So it, it, it was, this was all background. So the, the main colour's been put on with the camouflage pan. And then uh, I, I um, hang on a minute, do what? myself I'm going mad don't worry Bon <laughs> sorry about it one of my daughters um, yeah so anyway so what you do is you do the pre-shade it's kind of a pre-shading effect um, and and then what do you do from there is I've used all, all the greens and the, this is all the Tamiya weathering pack here I think it's um, the suit out of A to make the like the, the wave wash marks um, so yeah <clears throat> I'm going to do a video showing me doing it rather than one that just where like this one where I'll just tell you what I've done but just to give you an idea uh, this here again was the, the one of the weathering packs with the rust in so basically you just get the, the pad and you know you just wash it down and then as you come up a bit you can see that on top of the bow plane I think this is a bow plane uh, like I say again I don't do too much about boats but um, you can see that the algae where the algae is formed on it where it's been sitting in the water for a bit um, you know all, all of this is basically this is just from a um, the memories I have of visiting uh, New Haven when you, you've got a bit of a dry dock area there and uh, a New Haven in Sussex um, there's a dry dock there and when they bring the trawlers up for maintenance or whatever or for sale you know then um, you kind of see the state of them you can only think that something that went to war and went in the high seas and spent 
you know, years out there fighting the war, and then when it came home, it was, you know, left in the old uh, port as such, and um, yeah, left to deteriorate. So then they drag it out of the war, and that's the kind of effect I, I, I was kind of looking for. Now you can just about make it out here. Is this is the water line? So where it's been sitting in stagnant water, or you know, just where the the tide has has carried it. That's the kind of effect I've tried to have there as we're coming further back. Obviously, you know, there's there's more. There's, there's like some, I don't know what these things are. Like I say, I don't know nothing about boats. Um, that's the kit stand. Um, obviously, with the has this thing called a conning tower. Um, if it is, again, this is all the weathering from the rain and the water and the you know just the general crap of life that's uh, got to it. Now all of this framing here, I'm probably going to have to do again because it got broken. Um, it's not the kit, the kit was destroyed a long time ago, so I had to make it out of um, plastic rod. Uh, so uh, yeah, it looks like um, the, the repair, I might be able to do the repair, but uh, I don't know. But I was I was kind of looking at doing it in, in brass, to which case I've got to wait until the shops are open and then uh, redo it again so uh, yeah and then I might redo all them handles in brass as well and solder them together hence that's solder not solder as the Americans say solder it's got an L in it the amount of times that uh, I hear it on the because I normally build aircraft and you know and um, there's a guy on there and he's always saying I'd soldered this and soldered that and I'm thinking no you didn't it's got an L in it it's solder Anyway, that's my round for the day. <clears throat> so, and then we come down to the um, these uh, bilge tanks. I don't know. Anyway, you got the algae forming on top there, especially around where the, you know, where the, I don't know whether they blew air in and sucked water in or blew air out and pushed, I don't know, whatever. And then coming down to the back, again, get the water line faintly running along there I have, and then the, the, your rust pattern in there underneath now that's the other thing that all this was all damaged so I've, I've had to rebuild all of this that the arm comes out here I've still got the I don't know what you call it where the rudders come down I know that but it's whatever these ones are that come out so I presume they're another form of rear I can't call them bow planes because they're this is the stern. <laughs> I do know that much. Yeah, stern, yeah. That's photo etch. That isn't, that's the light. So I've got to do the light, yet. Yeah. Um, I presume, I don't know, maybe one of you can tell me, is this where, because these things were powered by diesel, obviously not nuclear. Was this the diesel exhaust? I mean, I, I don't, like I say, I don't, I don't really know. Don't really know. So, uh, oh, hello. Fan stopped. Um, yeah, so anyway, there's the, the props are missing. Um, I am not going to make them. So this would be a case of... Uh, <coughs> I've had to buy two from Shapeways for a fiver. So that's not too bad. So if I just come back up here. Zoom out a bit. There we are. And then uh, come back in, try not to get the shadow in.